We are here in beautiful Holland at the Turning Point School of Dance, where they have now turned in their wooden shoes for ballet slippers for a great show that's coming up. Let's say hello to Tess to talk more about it. Hi, Tess, how are Hi, you? Hi, good, how are you? So you guys, now first of all, the name of the ballet company is? Deus Contemporary Ballet. And you guys are working on a show called Collide. Yes. And what makes this show so different, so special? Well, we have 10 uh, professional dancers who have okay. come from all over the U.S. to put on this production. Uh, it's a mixed rep show with seven different pieces, five of which are world premieres. Oh, awesome. And so is this really, for someone who may not be familiar with ballet or don't, who doesn't get a chance to go to the ballet this often, do you think this would be like a, a, a good first step for someone like that to see? Absolutely. We have a lot of different genres. We have classical ballet as well as um, contemporary and modern. There's a great mix of music between contemporary music and modern music. Um, and there's really deep and moving pieces as well as some really fun pieces as well. And you guys also, you're, you're a summer only um, organization, right? Yes, yes. And so that helps maybe for some of the dancers who may be kind of laid off from other ballet companies to spend their summer working. Yeah, so most ballet companies uh, work from September to May, and then okay. dancers are laid off over the summer. Right. And it can be hard to make ends meet, as well yeah. as train and um, you know, stay in shape for their coming season. So by creating a summer-only professional company, we're offering paid performance opportunities for dancers, right. and also a good environment for them to train and um, stay in shape. And Tess, the other thing I love, you guys are a young company. This is only <laughs> your second summer, yes. right? But also, a lot of people may not realize that the ballet world is still very much a man's world when it comes to choreography and that type of thing. Yes. You're the choreographer for this, mm -hmm. and you're trying to change that. Yeah, so despite the fact that most ballet companies are made up of mostly women as the dancers, right. most ballet companies still have male leadership. And so as the creative director and choreographer, um, I think it's really important to bring in other female choreographers. So this summer, our guest choreographer is Cassidy Isaacson, who yeah. you know, wants to grow her choreography. and. Um, it's really important, I think, to help change that conversation and support other women stepping into leadership roles. Absolutely. So what are they going to do for us today? They're going to do a piece called Martha, and it's actually very fitting because it's inspired by all the strong women in my life. Awesome. Take it away. <laughs> 